Hello, this is Mike Rowland, and I wanted to show um, Dave, which is Turion on the Energetic Forum, my present setup. Okay, it's it's just a, uh, well, here's my flashlight. Let me get that out of the way. But you can see my rotor, all right? You can see my rotor here, and I'm going to spin it. This is my rotor. It's not, these magnets are not, they're in there tight, but they're not set like with a filler gauge so that they're all the same. But uh, you get the idea. Now that's a saw blade right there. And uh, on a, um, an arb an arb uh, a uh, arbor for a, a saw, like a table saw. And that's a 10 inch saw blade with holes chopped in it to put my magnet and magnet holders. Now here's a block. This is my block, uh, my homemade pillow block, if you want to call it that. It's a pipe with bearings. You might be able to see the pipe in there and the pipe on this side too, sticking out of the, the split area there. Probably can't see it, but I do have pictures uh, of the breakdown. And then the coupler and the motor. Now, this is Matt's modified motor right here. And I put extra holes in it because it does get hot. You know, see the holes on the front and everything? It will get hot if you run it for an hour. Without those holes, you really get hot. So, anyway... Um, that's it. Now I'm going to start it up. All right. And that's it. It's going to be a short video. And this is my little battery charger box I made. It was a battery charger at one time, but I got rid of the only thing I, that's still the same as that gauge. And, um, put a small variac and a transformer in there. A transformer lets me get up to 20 volts. And that keeps my variac small on the 120 volt side. Okay, let's get it going. And this one, you got to start it. I got the power on it, but it's not going. See, there it goes. I, I bumped it. You'll hear it's a little clunky sounding. And I, I was telling everybody... Here, let me shut it off for one more second. Okay, I shut it off. I was also telling everybody about this little, don't probably seem like much to you, but but to me it is. It's, um, it's a four-bolt adjustable platform for my motor. It's got rubber on the table and rubber here, and it's got metal. Let's see. It's got metal and metal with adjustable and wood platform. So that's all sitting on good solid, but I can adjust it. Because when you get up here to your coupler, you got to be able to adjust that coupler so it doesn't knock. And right now it's not perfect. So, okay, I'm going to start it up again. And I turn the power on, but I have to start this baby by hand, right? See me just bump it? Okay. And so I got this. This is my bolt clamp with hardwood. That's out of a hundred-year-old uh, house, that hardwood. All right, now, if you look here, you'll see I'm running about two amps. And that seems to be where it stays, no matter what way.